Hello guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to top roll against a strong hook. Now I will include 4 things, a posting top roll, a low hand top roll, one isometric and one dynamic exercise to strengthen your muscle. Now, when you come and arm wrestle and you want to top roll somebody, mostly you will attack the fingertips and wrist. But if you know that you will arm wrestle a very strong hooker with a big, very big cup and supination, then you have to prepare and choose the right style. So first things you must go and sleep. So you drag and you apply reverse side pressure and you let it go. Because in the strap we can get the thumbs a little bit further away, decreasing their coverage around our thumb and this gets our more pronation advantage, which is very good. Because if they can grab like this, then they will get a lot of coverage on, on the back of our hand, which means that it will be impossible for us to prone it. Then, after you will go, you will want to set up correctly. I will not show this in today's video, it's another subject. So, you can go with the posting top roll, but it's pretty hard because when you are doing a pose, you are sitting up with your knuckles high. Come here. Good. You're sitting up with your knuckles high. Which, if somebody drags forward and comes with a low grip and kind of subnates in your arm, he can go around your pronation and turn you into a hook and a top roller without pronation is nothing and he will almost 100% lose. Almost. Now, you can also use a pose but don't do it like this so by doing it like this no no that's not good you don't want that so after we've gone into the straps we want to set with the knuckles high set the shoulder forward to get some commitment in case he will get us so because he's dragging forward we will drag back and apply reverse side pressure and then go with back pressure and a hooker with no cup then he's nothing only if he can pull a flow press but nobody's like Jerry Cutler that when he comes like this boom so let's go ahead of that when they will come forward and kind of supinate, when we apply the side reverse side pressure, so they will come like this, and this will happen. And from there, you can start to apply side pressure just like this, and why it done. But you have to be very explosive, so you have to very very fast because if he's faster then he will just come like this destroy you because that's the point of the hook to eliminate the pronation element and to get the battle from hand on hand contact to hand arm on arm contact then what I'll say is that by taking a lower grip and with the thumb up and back to limit 
his coverage around my thumb by taking a low grip it's actually safer and with the forearm vertically with the elbow inside the body it's safer and also it's easier because if you are coming like this with a pose then he will get a lot of pocket like this and he will kind of supinate and cup into you and combine it with the dragging forward he will almost kill your formation so take a low grip get like this if you can will the strap is applied kick back and spinate and rise just a bit to get the webbing higher and everything and then when the match starts you want to get to the back of the pad so drag back drag back just like this come here so like this back you want to drag back because if you start with a low grip and drag back then it will come exactly like they want to apply pressure so it is like just like cupping through a statue you will never be able to rotate it that's the easier way it's better if you are slower and re relying more on strength very technical so you want to I forgot two things come here so while you drag you want to cut but just a little to secure your pronation and to be able to ordinary deviate even more so you have to cut like only 20 degrees because if you cut like this much full you will end up in a drag hook you don't want that because it's a hook battle is on on you have to apply back pressure to rip and bend the wrist back so you want to drag and cup don't apply reverse side pressure only if it's needed to because if you know that he's a lot stronger you can apply it but drag and cup and then start to apply side pressure with pronation or you can go side pressure back pressure and a little bit of pronation like this 45 degree angle but for the low hand I recommend going to the side because it gives you the faster and better leverage to kill the hooker so now we have the exercise because you can lose in two ways in a low hand top road neither you aren't combining the cup and drag enough and securing your pronation or you have a strength issue and I prepared two exercises to uh, give you the best things to train in your next workout so it happens a lot you drag and secure the cup but you can't really run it you can't really finish the match because he's got a too strong cup too strong reflexes and you need to train two things so first let's pause for a brief moment and if you liked and don't want to miss any more videos on arm wrestling training and techniques discussions everything click the subscribe button and the like button to help me small click for you big thing for me
thanks if you did that and you follow me for a long time so here we've got the side pressure with pronation with a high angle come here so you want to take a band a band uh, strap a little bit higher than your hand height almost the same but if I'll drop so show them here are 2.5 kilos it's just for demonstration I don't want to show my real numbers right now so we will let me take my sleeves up to show to his big forearms we want to wrap the strap around the wrist and around the thumb come on good so around the wrist come around the back of the hand and through the thumb ordinary deviate or chop drop your riser like some but this says cup at 20 degrees and then take this and oh, wait Good. And, and you want to apply side pressure and prone it but we aren't going for the pin pad we aren't going for the pin pad we are going for the pronation element because most of the of the time you got the side pressure or you have enough side pressure to crack the wrist back but you haven't got enough pronation strength this muscle to kick back the wrist of the opponent and disengaging their hook now if you want to make the exercise harder on the pronation you can always take something like this I'll fold it three to four times just like this because when we increase the weight we are also increasing our side pressure good thing but if pronation is not enough and side pressure is enough why would you want to train more yeah because if you are losing because of pronation train your pronation so put it right here right here just around the wrist where the pivot point of force is applied drag and again go to the side Rotating the bones and imagine close your eyes and think about how the wrist will kick back every time Great way this will train the finishing part of the low hand top roll Great exercise Now we've got for the starting position so we want to grab a wrist wrench here, good. A wrist wrench, wrap it two times, I think. I recommend going for the strap one because it's better and it's going to prepare you better for the top roll. And you want to take it just like this like this around the knuckles and you want to drag back and cup just 20 degrees drag drag you can also drag there but you can drag anywhere just to strengthen that part so now that I've showed you these four things to top roll against a strong hook, I've got one more that almost everybody knows about 
but they are keeping it secretly nobody wants to show it because I don't know reason I will draw in the end uh, screen it's about the how to train your hand for size and hypertrophy or arm wrestling that's because a bigger hand will be mean less coverage around the thumb better thing even if they lose just a little bit it's more better it's easier for us harder for them so in that video will be about how to use the wrist wrench for the hand training things like that enjoy it as I always say bye and see you in the next video leave you